when my time comes round, let the last thought be loving, with soft light abound. This is a poem written by David Austin, and I think it's the best way to describe Trek the Yomi without saying too much. I'm going to be going into further detail, and look, this is not like any other samurai game. This is not like Ghost of Tsushima, or Total War Shogun, or For Honor, or any of these other games that have samurais in it. This is a different experience. Let's go over this together and see if Trek the Yomi is worth it. Trek the Yomi is a game about a samurai. It's about a young man who learns the way of the samurai, who loses his master, and makes a vow, a sacred vow, to protect his village. Hiroki grows up, becomes a full-fledged man, and then hears of this attack that's coming onto his village. Thus, makes him spiral into this whole frenzy, trying to defend his people, and he sets off to fight this warlord. After he defeats the warlord, the warlord basically laughs in his face and says, Haha, your town is dead. While rushing back, all of a sudden he sees the whole town is on fire, everybody's been pretty much owned, and at this point, this is where you fight the same dude that killed your master, and then he... He one-shots you. Basically, I got one shot. Now, in my opinion, this is where Trek Yomi really does start. Because this is where he gets sent to the afterlife. This, like, purgatory for warriors. And has to defend himself. He fights off monsters. And fights off this whole gallery of, basically, bad guys that have specific powers, abilities. It's, it's actually really cool. And if this were a movie, I could see it's fitting into some sort of category of, like, Magic, Samurai, Fantasy, something under those lines. And for that, it is fantastic. It fits that role and does that job. The problem is, is that it's a video game at the end of the day, and it has to have mechanics that are rewarding, not only rewarding, but feel good. And unfortunately, that's where Trek the Yomi kind of falls apart. Most of the time, I find myself cheesing every single bad guy I fight, using the most overpowered move I've gotten into my arsenal, and with no real reason to do any other thing it just was boring in that sense and unfortunately that's where that lays is it's not it's not like sifu where every single encounter felt free-flowing and movement was rewarded where you would hit an object or okay this time when i took this fight i was in another part of the room and it forced me to do something else this game was kind of static and the same thing over and over Unfortunately, it became dull and lackluster and lost its appeal after the first three hours, two hours. But don't worry, the game wasn't very long to begin with. Unfortunately, this game has a runtime of maybe four or five hours. If, let's say, now you get stuck somewhere, it is not a very hard game. And even if you were to play it on the hardest difficulty, I don't see it taking you much more than seven hours. If, let's say, now you're getting bodied by everything you see. I will say that this game could get challenging at points, and they really stack it against you, but more often than not, two or three, four tries after, you're pretty much beaten it. It's not always like, there's no heavy wall like in Sifu, where you fight the second boss and you just get trapped, you know? Oh! One thing I will say is that they do a great job with the uh, cuts between different locations. As you move from one side to another and you get shipped to another part of the map, the whole camera gets moved to another little location. It gives you more of a cinematic feel rather than a video game feel, which is actually a really cool aesthetic and is one of the things that really pulled me in to want to play this game. Kudos to the art team and the art directors and everybody who was involved with the, the concepts the art style, the graphics, everything that, that comes down to like the aesthetic of the game. Wow, great job, Mwah. beautiful. Unfortunately for gameplay, uh, three thumbs down could be better. What were you guys thinking? Anyways, in the argument or in the saying of, is Trek Yomi worth it? I have to say that this game is something that I would never pay for full price. And I didn't. I actually got this game and I started playing it through the Games Pass, which gives me a ton of games to play at any given moment. 
and I recommend that if you don't have the Game Pass, essentially, pick it up. It's worth it, in the sense that you'll be able to play this game and numerous others without having to actually go out and repurchase the game itself. Anyways, to answer, is this game worth it for a full retail price? No, no it is not. But for $1 for renewal on a Xbox Live uh, Games Pass, definitely, definitely worth it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. Smash the like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button. You know, do all the little bells and whistles that are needed with every single video on YouTube without having to repeat myself, you know? I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. All the best. Never change. Watch out for strangers. Look both ways before crossing a street. We'll talk again soon. All the best. You beautiful bastard.